All right, everyone, so we are back with another issue of Justice League. This is issue 49, The Dark Side War, Chapter 9. Now, as we last left off, Dark Side Lex Luthor had shown up to show down kind of with the Anti Monitor, who is Mobius, and that was a, kind of a big climactic battle that was going to happen. We also had left on kind of a cliffhanger with Superwoman as she was about to have her baby that's being led up to since Forever Evil. So, this is going to be a pretty big reveal. So, the issue begins with Lex Luthor, Dark Side and Anti-Monitor in a big showdown battle. The Crime Syndicate and the Justice League are trying to kind of figure out what to do and how they're going to deal with Superwoman's baby which is about to be born because that's pretty much all the Owl Man keeps saying that they're after. The Crime Syndicate wants the baby to be born so they can use that as their secret weapon against Darkseid and Mobius and kind of rule the world because Owl Man also says that once they take out Mobius aka the Anti-Monitor they're going to take out the Justice League next. They're only using them as a means to an end. All all the while this is happening, Jessica Cruz within the green realm of the Power Ring is with Cyborg, like a projection of Cyborg, because they've all been taken over by their evil dark side selves due to the Crime Syndicate's powers, so they're trying to still figure out how to break free of their clutches and actually help out the Justice League rather than just be the pawns of the Crime Syndicate. We then cut to Big Barda and Mr. Miracle talking about the sacrifice that they're going to have to make during this battle, and Big Barda wants to return to Apocalypse because she she figures that since all of the parademons are here on Earth with Lex, they can go back and it's their only chance to free Apocalypse and all the people that are back in the slave pens like they used to be for so many years. It's their only chance to go back and free those people, but Mr. Miracle wants to stay and help the Justice League, so Big Barda leaves on a boom tube. Superman is able to clear his solar energy from Apocalypse that he got during the fire pits when he flew down into the fire pits and turned like silver and black. He was able to unleash all of that dark energy onto Mobius and got his mind back. He got his control again over his power set, so he's not like the evil Superman anymore. Death Racer shows up to warn them about death that is coming, and basically right when he says that, Grail and her mother pop back from the boom tube, and they're back with somebody. It's like a shadowy figure that's imbued with the anti-life equation, and it's revealed to be Steve Trevor. Now, in the end of the last issue, we saw that Steve Trevor had been taken by Grail, and we didn't know what was going to happen with him, and this is the result of of that, Superwoman also has her baby and is revealed to be a boy, and that's going to spell doom for the Justice League. The issue ends with Steve Trevor unleashing a ray of energy from the Anti-Life Equation and killing Mobius, aka the Anti-Monitor, and Grail revealing that her plan all along has been to corrupt one of them, hence why she took Steve Trevor and imbued them with the Anti-Life Equation to kill all of the Justice League and take over the world. So that's where the issue ends off. Uh, I have to say this is a pretty solid issue, I feel like it was a lot of setup for what is going to go down in issue 50, which I'm going to assume is a lot because it's going to kind of lead into Rebirth as well. So overall, a solid issue. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Again, fantastic artwork here from Jason Fabok, and I think a little bit of a promising story that Jeff Johns is leading up to in this climactic issue, which will be concluded next month. So if you guys got a chance to check this issue out, let me know what you guys thought down in the comment section below, and if you didn't check the issue out, I recommend that you go to your comic store right now and pick this book up. Post your thoughts down in the comment section below. Hit that subscribe button down there if you're new to the channel. Like the video because it helps us out a lot. My name is Nick and I will catch you guys next time.